Assalamu alaikum students welcome to the third lecture of uh, science i hope that you all of all of you are doing well so um um so today we are going to study where we are studying the first chapter adaptation so we are doing uh, we can continue to do so so today we are going to talk about habitat so defining a habitat so defining a habitat all ecosystems have raw materials producers consumers and decomposers but when do where do the living things live what exactly do they need to help them survive all organisms occupy a habitat this is a part of an ecosystem that supplies their basic needs so what is a habitat um a habitat is basically a place or a, a place where an organisms organism lives uh, it's basically we can call it a home for all the living organisms like animals and plants and you know um human beings as well so just like we discussed in the previous lecture that all ecosystems they have raw materials and we had discussed what raw materials are and producers and consumers and decomposers are so um what um we uh, you know ecosystem um they can have habitats um but where do the living things live the living things live in a Uh, in a habitat um and all organisms all the living organisms they they might they must have a habitat to live okay so what are the parts of habitat um the basic parts are uh, food and shelter so the basic part of a habitat is food so uh, food is as we know that all living organisms they need food to survive in order to live a uh, life they need to eat and they need to um, you know uh, feed um the most important need is for food it does not matter how good an area is in other aspect so if if an uh, if there is an ecosystem of there is if there is a place where there is um there is uh, no food available even if the um Yeah, even if the area is very good, but uh, that is of no use because uh, living organisms they need food to survive. Um, if there is not enough food to go around for plants, this means having access to light, minerals, and water. So for for plants, their food is sunlight, minerals, and water. So this is this is basically the requirement of the plant. They don't uh, feed on other plants or animals or uh, other the food they uh, make their food by the process of photosynthesis you know they take in um, carbon dioxide uh, they take in oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide they take in sunlight and minerals and you know water from the soil and turn it into food for themselves so for animals it means there must be enough plants or prey to feed on so some animals uh, they are herbivores some animals they are carnivores or uh, means uh, carnivore means they feed on other animals while some animals they are herbivores they which eat plants so um, animals for animals the food must be plants and animals okay and for uh, plants so the food must food is uh, having access to light minerals and water so if there is an area where they don't get enough light and they don't get water and sparen uh, then um, uh, you know they won't grow so um, that's not a good habitat or there's no proper uh, adequate habitat for them then the second thing is um shelter shelter is also very important because uh, you know if we are getting food but we are uh, in danger or if we are uh, um, you know in danger by by certain situations or by certain uh, things uh, then that habitat is also or that place cannot be a habitat for uh, for an organism if they are not protected and if they are not um, you know um, uh, if they are not um, finding shelter so the next most important need is for shelter all living things need to protect themselves from the elements and from predators so uh, any, uh, all the organisms be it human beings or animals or plants 
they need a uh, protect uh, you know uh, they need to get be aware and they need to be protected from uh, prey and from predators and you know um, from other animals or um, you know uh, plants or you know uh, from attacking them or you know uh, uh, from uh, not only uh, predators but also like um, from from bad weather if there is bad weather they need to protect themselves if there is a plant and there is an animal with um, you know a heavy wind is blowing or there is tornado there is volcano there is you know the elements of the um uh, of the nature that are not uh, suitable to for 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 an animal to survive or a plant to survive for example there are uh, there is um, when there is cold weather in some parts of the um, uh planet then some animals migrate to find shelter to other places which is suitable for them um for animals uh, uh sorry um animals need shelter while they sleep during the night or the day so uh, they need whenever there is you need a comfortable place to sleep in during the day some animals they rest in the day some animal, animals they rest at the night so they need to find shelter a safe place to uh, you know to to sleep plants need shelter from wind frost and in some cases excessive heat so uh, plants they need a shelter from uh, wind if there is because plants they cannot move from one place to another they are grounded they are uh, you know they are uh, the roots are grounded um, and um frost is that layer of a uh, uh, layer of ice um uh, as we say frosting um and in some case of excessive heat so plants they need shelter from, um, in case of um wind and um, frost and in excessive from excessive heat and animals need shelter when they sleep or um during the day or the night all right so the next thing is reproduction reproduction means to uh, reproduce to make copies of itself so living things reproduce living things they have babies uh, similarly animals they uh, reproduce they have their babies plants they also reproduce in some other way they don't have babies but they they also make copies of themselves so reproduction means to uh, to be to reinvent to reproduce um, uh, itself the final thing a habitat must provide is a place for reproduction breeding to occur so um, In, in, apart from food and shelter, there must be a safe place for reproduction. This means that an area must be big enough for a male and a female and all the offspring. So when you know, uh, if there is a small place and then um, uh, the the animals they have their uh, children or um, um, no, so the the uh, human beings they have their children, or similarly the animals when they have their babies, um, they need to have a bigger area, bigger place where they can uh, live with their offspring as well, with their babies as well. Uh, if the area is small and they are not able to uh, live, um, you know, uh, if the habitat is, uh, if the place is not uh, uh, enough for for. Uh, um for, for their offspring and themselves then it won't make a good habitat so they need to um, have a place where they can reproduce and they can um, you know uh, keep their offspring as well it needs to have a place for their young to grow and have enough food at the right time for them to survive so when uh, a baby is born it the requirement of the food is different from an adult so um they they need to be fed on right amount uh, on right times uh, so the habitat they are living in it should be able to provide food uh, you know uh, uh, at uh, food rapidly for their uh, you know uh, small ones young ones so not every habitat is same so every species it depends on the species it depends on the area uh, so not all the habitats they will be similar all the habitats they are different from one another the idea of a habitat is based like the ecosystem okay so um habitat is like ecosystem on how it works rather than how big it is 
so ecosystem is also basically is how it works it doesn't matter how big it is but rather it is important how it works it has producers consumers raw materials and they are dependent on each other and they feed on each other so similarly how big a habitat is doesn't matter but if it is providing right food shelter and reproduction that is what matters a dead mouse can be a habitat for a decomposer but a robin needs several gardens to supply its need this is robin is a bird uh, similar uh, a bird like this um, so the decomposers as i have told you that the decomposers they feed on dead animals so if uh, a, a dead mouse can be a habitat for decomposer because it is providing food and shelter and you know it it can reproduce in it as well but a robin needs several garden but a robin for a bird cannot uh, you know um, have it as a habitat because it needs several garden um, to supply its needs you, you know birds they move from one one place to another from one garden to another they feed on on some flowers they get they take seeds from the flower they get pollen from the flower and uh, then they travel from one garden to another to collect seeds and to find their food they cannot just uh, some birds they feed on animals as well but not all of them so um so they need to travel from one place to another so that is the habitat for for the for the robin for the bird but for a decomposer that they didn't they don't need to move from one garden to another to find their food if they find a dead plant or dead animal or dead plant or, um and uh, somewhere then that is the habitat for them and they have uh, so this means that every habitat is different um every ecosystem is different has a different set of species so similarly the ecosystem is different the, the basic idea of the ecosystem is saying that it has a it has producers consumers raw materials minerals uh, decomposers and all of these things but the the decomposers will be different the uh, consumers will be different raw materials can differ so similarly the idea will be the same but all the ecosystem they will be different from one another this means that every habitat is unique to every species so um this means that the species that the the, the habitat it depends on the spe species the habitat for cow will be different than a, from a bird the habitat for a, of a human will be different from a deer the habitat of a fish will be different from a bird so habitats will be different uh, depending on the species okay so now here is a map um uh, of a maintaining a territory gives the bird a habitat so what this becomes um, because birds they travel from one place to another so that is that becomes the habitat of the bird for example they have shown a, a, a map and they are saying that this becomes the habitat of a um of a bird so uh, of a robin robin is a bird so the male this is this part is where the robin uh, you know travels and gets his food from male and and these are the other rest of the parts male and female they both travel so this is the habitat of a male all of this is a habitat of male because male is traveling everywhere but this is the habitat of female 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 doesn't travel here so this will be the habitat of female and this all will be the whole will be the habitat of a male robin robin is a bird so uh, the supply of worms must not run out so because uh, robin or uh, these animals uh, these some birds they feed on uh, dead uh, worms uh, on wo earth worms and other worms as well so if this is their food so they need uh, the, their food they need worms so they are saying that you know there should be enough worms so that they can feed on them so this is about it um and uh, the questions that you have to do is what is a habitat and you have to uh, explain the three things that a habitat needs everything must provide then uh, you have to find about the uh, thrush and then explain how it ecosystem provides it um provides a habitat for it uh, think about a stinging nettle stinging nettle is a plant and you have to describe its habitat thrush is an, a bird you have to find about it you have to use internet for uh, your help and if you are not able to understand you will still um uh, you will tell me these are the questions that you have to do uh, at your homes and um, i hope that you are not going to have any problem doing it it was a simple lesson about habitat and also you have to answer this what do you think about these questions just don't look at from internet just 
write down the answers on the basis of what you think so um uh, i hope that you have understood today we have talked about habitats habitat is a place where uh, an organisms live and it must provide food shelter and reproduction and basically it must provide food and shelter and it should be a place where uh, uh, organisms can uh, reproduce as well and the, I, the habitat is different for every species um so some examples are given we have uh, seen example of a dead mouse and then a robin and uh, then some of the questions that you need to do um so i hope that you're going to uh, i hope that you have no problem um and i hope that you are, i hope that you have understood the lecture so you have to uh, answer these questions on a loose sheet or in a rough copy and if you are having any problem then you can ask me till then take care and allah hafiz